everyone. I am in bed at my um, grandparents' house um, where all my things are stored. It's like my usual room and I'm so tired. It's quarter past seven and I got up at four today to get on a flight um, and I'm so ready. I'm probably just going to edit the footage so far from today um, from visiting Knitting for Olive um, which was really, really lovely. I will show you everything that I bought in the next podcast. And um, I need to send the feedback on the dress, which I have not completely finished the body as I'd hoped, but I'm going to live with that. <laughs> and then, then um, might knit a few rows while watching something. And I think that's me from today. Um, this morning I came to the airport and usually I fly from Edinburgh Airport all the time. And usually you come through really quick, you know, you come, you quickly drop off your suitcase and security is quite quick, quick. but today it wasn't. So I was, I got there and I realised that my gate was open, which I've never tried before. And then when I got to where you drop suitcases off, it was just such a long queue. And so I suddenly realised that I wasn't going to make it through this queue and make it on the flight in time. So I ended up rushing up to like one of the ladies when they were calling for a flight that was after mine to get people rushed through and I was asking about if the flight from Copenhagen was still open she's like oh no no it's closed but let me just I think it's closed but let me just double check and there was three minutes left so I rushed in my suitcase and ran through all of security in my big knitted jumper and my Doc Martin boots and oh god it was a bit of a nightmare so I was so relieved when I made it onto flight and Starting with four o'clock today, I can definitely feel I am so ready for an early night. So I thought I'd just check in. I'm hoping I can get a bit of footage tomorrow, but obviously a lot of this week is just going to be spending time with my family and really enjoying that. So uh, bear with me if there's just a glimpse and little quick um, like views of my time here, but um, I just really want to enjoy some family time. So yes, so tired, so ready for bed. <laughs> See you later. Hi from editing Caroline. So today it is Saturday. Well, technically it is Sunday here in Denmark. It's about half past 12 at night and I was just sort of gathering up the clips that I got from this week. The last time you saw me was the day I arrived on Monday when I was really stressed from the flight. And... Um, this week I have honestly just been enjoying really quiet family time and not really um, been filming that much. So I've collected a few clips um, and I will talk you through sort of each of them in a bit more of a voiceover style instead of, um, I guess, sort of talking through the clips themselves. Um, I really want to make sure that I get a Vlogmas episode out a week, so at least this one will be short and sweet. Um, so we're going to start out with my clips from um, the Tuesday where I went on shopping with my granny. My family lives in Onsa, which is the third biggest city of uh, Denmark. And Onsa is such a cute little quaint city. I did manage to get great clips, but here you see a few of very, very central um, Onsa. Just around the corner from these clips, or basically just on the side there, there's a place called Tendequan, which is a yarn shop that has honestly been there for as long as I can remember. And they always have such beautifully decorated windows. I really like those mittens there. Um, we have the Luca jumper just there. Lots of like haberdashery, badge and bloom. It's so stunning. I was pointing that out to my granny that that is definitely on my wish list. And just lots of mood, um, lots of other pretty things. Inside the shop, you just have so many yarns. They stock Iser, uh, Camarosa, Sandners, their own brand. They have a lot of their own yarns, some hand dyed yarns. Then we went to Pure Pipe. I was really interested in seeing Hilholt's yarn, um, which is Hil Hilholt is a uh, yarn that I know Petit Knit uses loads. They had loads of Isa as well. I bought some hand dyed uh, chunky moy hair on sale. I'll show you another time. And after all of this, we definitely needed uh, to sit down for a nice coffee and a honey cake. I also thought I better show you Abeliskiwa, my favorite at Christmas time. If you watch Bake Off. 
uh, for Danish weekday with her. My cousin and I also had some lovely time making uh, Christmas cookies. I have to admit that it was definitely not my strong suit, but I thoroughly enjoyed a full day just in my pajamas. Um, my cousin really enjoyed uh, getting all of the shapes ready. And once they were all nice and baked, um, they were actually really tasty. They're sort of gingerbready, really, really good. A tiny bit burnt because I'm not a proper grown up, clearly. Uh, we spent lots of time uh, decorating it with icing, having lots of fun decorating them, creating an absolute mess. And it was brilliant. Um, the sweetness of the icing really suits that kind of, you know, gingerbread taste. And they were so pretty, especially with all the little, um, I don't even know what they're called in English, little decorations. And I loved mixing all the different coloured icings. So that's a little insight to um, the past week. Um, I have quite acquired quite a lot of yarn. Uh, most of it is currently down here by the side of my bed together with my current work in progress. I am really hoping that I'll get the chance to film a podcast this week, um, maybe tomorrow or Monday. I don't know if I'll put it up doing all of these like Vlogmas episodes just because I find that my subscription box is so busy. I don't know if my podcast episode might get slightly lost, but um, instead of showing you my purchases sort of in here, I kind of want it to be part of my usual sort of podcast episodes. Um, I have to say that while I loved going to the yarn shops, maybe I should take my little headphones off. As much as I love going to the yarn shops, it was so overwhelming for me because I'm a lockdown knitter. I just haven't really been to many yarn shops and I just found it absolutely overwhelming. Um, I definitely went into the shops with a plan of what I was looking for um, because there's just so much on that you don't even know where to begin and I think it's a very like different way of shopping right like you have all the colours out there for you um, and you have so many different qualities. I think I'm very much like I plan like there's a project that I want and then I buy yarn for it and while the project might change, I kind of know what yarns I want and don't want. So, yeah, I have to admit, I found it a little bit overwhelming. But the shops are just so stunning. It would be so expensive for me if shops like this were sort of within easy reach in normal times. Um, I just really think um, the yarn shops I've been to, they just really nailed down sort of like, it just feels so lovely and exclusive and... Uh, the women in there are always so helpful. I always really enjoy going. So really excited to show you what I'm going to be making and um, sort of talk about what's next. I'm also really excited to show you because I finished my dress. Um, actually, hasn't been that bad. So, yeah, I'm really excited that I finally finished a knitted, knitted dress that I have been testing. Um, and I wore it today. Today we had a traditional Christmas lunch. Um, a very Danish concept and it was so nice um, my cousin actually turned one uh, obviously not the one making the cookies um, so yes I better go because it's late and I think I should just finish editing this and I will see you with a vlogmas episode next week bye <laughs>